With May approaching, you know it's coming to the business end of the season for many of our clubs. Well, Andy is in Honiton tonight, where the rugby club is gearing up for the biggest match in their history. Andy. Thank you, Andy. Yes, the sun might be shining on the guys now, but for the last few months they've been training in the wind, the rain, even the snow. And it's for moments like these that don't always come along in a player's career, the chance to play at Rugby HQ and at Twickenham. Well, Nathan, you're the player coach here. Was this on the radar at the start of the season? Um, it was, and it was. We, we had a tough first round, and, uh, you know, we got through that. And ever since that, the boys have been smashing expectations. And it's been fantastic. Now, you've played in the professional setup as well as the grassroots. You're back here at your hometown club. What's it like playing with these guys? Do you get a bit of stick these days? Yeah, I do. I, I tend to get a lot of stick. Um, but it's, it's such a pleasure to be back home at, at grassroots rugby um, and giving, giving back some of the knowledge that I've uh, learned on the, on the way on my professional career. Just quickly, how's it going to go? Hopefully a win. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's hope so. As it is, the best of luck. Now, none of this would happen the playing side if you don't have volunteers on the side of the pitch here, like Jerry. He's a club secretary at the club. Jerry, what does this mean to a place like Honiton to get the touching distance of Twickenham? Well, it's fantastic. I mean, the, the reality is, is this is grassroots rugby. Um, a lot of these people would never have the opportunity to do that through this um, system where we're all playing at the same level and what have you. These guys could actually be running out at Twickenham. I know it's a big if, but it's great news. And for the town in general, what, what effect does it have? It, it really is very good. You know, one of the things as well is you can't function at rugby clubs now without the support from local businesses and things. All of these guys have contributed to make sure that we can function and what have you. We run junior sides here, all ages. It's been really good. Well, listen, best of luck in the match. Now, Honiton playing their semi-final is one of the rugby matches that's going on this weekend. It's quite quiet otherwise. Yorkshire Carnegie play the Cornish Pirates in the championship. But for the football clubs, this Easter weekend doubleheader could be a big one. They've all got still got plenty to play for. Let's hope good.